Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. When we left off, or in the previous episode, we ran away from a witch. Um, no idea what happened to her. We got beaten up by some mobs over there somewhere. Uh, and we didn't find iron, so I should continue digging and trying to find that, actually. Um, but I, I want to take a look at the world around me, because I also want to find cows. If I can find leather eventually, that would be great. I've still got auto, to auto jump on for now, which I'm uh, still not convinced by. I'll probably turn that off eventually. Uh, this way. Okay. Uh, so, the world around me. Piggy. Okay. Piggy, interesting tree up here as well. Uh, we remember saying that was jumpable, so we could jump down there if we wanted to. Just a forest over there. Uh, mountains. Uh sort of a river over here yeah like a little um little basin here look at that what is that that's an odd structure isn't it is that world generation i mean obviously it's world generation of some sort but is it a oh no it's a really odd tree i can see it now in color just a really weird tree so there's no uh, no structures visible that are worth checking out, really. Like we don't see any village, we don't see any um, any new stuff that I would be less familiar with. I do see something glowing over there. What's that? Uh, I wonder if I can get a better view of it from here. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is that? Oh, I think it's just flowers. It's not really anything glowing. It's just red and yellow flowers. Uh, and I also see no cows having a look around. Which means back into the mine we go. We at least want to, I guess, find some iron. I also, I really need to figure out where I'm going to settle eventually. But before uh, we do that, I would like... I would like a compass. Uh, because a compass is the first ingredient of a map. The second ingredient is paper. And uh, to do paper, we need sugarcane, I'm pretty sure. But I also don't see sugarcane. Why don't I see sugarcane? Oh, there might be some up in the distance that way. Let's take a look around here first. God, the auto jump is going to get so annoying. I, I think that's some over there. So no need to fret too much about sugarcane. Oh, that's definitely some, and that is closer. We'll go. Um, we'll go gather this sugarcane. Uh, I've just noticed the sun is setting. I could also do with a clock, but that, that means finding finding gold. There's also some over on the island. That's great. Uh, a boat as well would make this journey a little less perilous, wouldn't it? Oh, it's farther away than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure, pretty sure that sugarcane is what is needed for water. We're just going to gather all of this. We're going to take it home and, and plant it closer. Uh, and then it will regrow. Regrow back over here somewhere. It does, I think, need to be planted next to the water. But that's fine. We've got plenty of water over here as well. Oops, daisy. Okay. Yeah, that auto, that auto jump is really, really frustrating, and I'm going to turn it off, I think, before the next episode. If I remember to. I, I'm not going to remember to. I ought to do it, like, now, really. Okay, so we can plant five. Let's plant them here, 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 and here. There we go. And back across to one for the sword. And then back in to do some mining. Okay, where is that, by the way? I'm just walking up the sandy bit. I shouldn't be doing that. Come on, I should jump that. Come on. Ooh, something's glowing up there. Something is definitely glowing up there. Which is odd, because I haven't been up there. I haven't put, I haven't put a torch up there or anything. And what what glows in the world? Lava, for one, but 
I would not expect to see lava up there. If the if if there was lava, I'd expect to see it flowing as well. So yeah, I don't know. Don't know. That's a curiosity. Possibly worth investigating at some point. Okay, so here's where we hit water. Um, right. Okay. I think we can, yeah, we can get past the water fairly easily. It's just a case of, like, how far along does the water go? Okay, it seems we can avoid it going this way. That's great. Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. So it's just a case of still digging down until we find, say, a, uh, a cave below the surface. Because um, that's the... That's the ideal way to find iron. The other alternative is, of course, strip mining. Uh, here we go. But I can't remember what depth. Like, uh, your uh, resources have different levels of commonness, dependent on the depth that you've dug to. And I can't remember what level iron starts at, or it's most common at, or anything. Which is why it is easier to really find a cave system if we can. Uh, it'd be good to get another torch down now, wouldn't it? Put one there. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a lot of boring digging until we find like a like a cave or something. Though I, I my pick will break any second, and I'll have to go back up and. Yep, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't have the materials I would... Oh, I do. I do have the materials I would need to make another one. Okay. Yeah, but it's a little bit confined down here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it uh, here. Rather than go all the way back to the top, I will just have a... Where did I come down from? I come down from there. So let's have one in this... Uh, this... Ooh, will I be able to use it there? I'll be able to use it here, no problem. Okay, uh, let's do this. Quick little uh, crafting table just to put into this space here, then use that. And a couple of sticks plus some stone makes a brand new pickaxe. And we maybe want a second one in case that one gives out as well, because cobble does not last. So there we go. Uh, this way. <clears throat> Brilliant. Saves a little bit of time. Oh, look at the little drip there. Okay. Little drip there, I think, indicates that there is water above. That'd be the obvious thing that it indicated, wouldn't it? Okay, this is a lot of... A lot of nothing here, really. Not super happy with what I'm seeing. Uh, torch there. We'll do a turn, go this way. The the, uh, the pockets of water are fascinating as well, because they weren't in the game when I last played, I don't think. Or or maybe they were. Maybe they were a super rare thing, I don't know. But it, it doesn't look like the uh, the water there amounted to much, did it? It was just little underground pockets of... Uh, I can't really see what I'm doing here, which means you probably can't see either, so... The idea here is to go as far down... I mean, this is always how you start the game, isn't it? You always go, you do some digging, you do some mining, you get to bedrock, and then you work your way back up from uh, from there. I remember, because you would always use bedrock as you like, or certainly I would, you'd use it to, to uh, count back up from, because I think when you look at a diamond, diamond appears between levels like five and maybe five and f five and twelve most commonly. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong about that, I don't know. Okay, down another level. 
get another of these down. We've got to be close now, surely. It doesn't typically take that long to get to the bottom. Unless they've made it deeper. Which is entirely possible. I know there's been a lot of reworks over the years, and uh, <laughs> there's meant to be enormous, beautiful cave structures beneath the ground. Now I just haven't um, come across one. Of course, there was always caves, but they've, in recent uh, updates, apparently made caves much more interesting and dynamic. And is that what I think it is? Is Okay, no, it's not. It's very much not what I think it is. What was that? Cobbled deep slate. Okay. Deep slate. It's just making a really <laughs> uh, disconcerting sound when I dig it out. A little bit like that. That's another disconcerting sound. Okay. Okay. Let's do another turn and go this way. Not that it really makes any difference. It's all total darkness down here. And we're really in this deep slate now, aren't we? This is new. Deep slate certainly wasn't in the game when I last played. Like a lot of there's a lot of new stone. Back when I played, there was one kind of stone. I heard a bat. Okay, let me see if I can work out. It's to the, it's, it's to my left. Okay. Don't hear it now. Okay, let me see if let me let me see let me see if I can dig out in this direction then. Can't be far away from me, can it? There's a lot of wasted digging to find nothing. All right, let's um, keep going. Oh, it's quieter now. Maybe it's slightly above? I don't know. How many torches? I've got six torches left as well. That's not good. Come on, iron should not be this hard to find. I would have expected to have like encountered not even even if not in a cave, but just a little pocket of it to the side uh, somewhere by now. We shouldn't have to go this deep. Not that I really know how deep I am. Still hearing a bat. I swear, I think it's sounding... It's, well... Okay, it's sounding more like it's in this direction now. Oh! Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. Um... Right then, let's not open the cave up straight away. Let's get... Oh god, I don't have many torches. But I should be able to make... No, I haven't even found coal as I've dug down here. Ah, oh, god. Okay. Uh, we'll get that in there at least. And... Well, be ready to block this back up. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Ooh, ooh. That looks like iron. Okay. Uh, torches at the ready. Okay. Fairly quiet off in this direction. The cave does go on though, so I'm not going to go too deep that way. Over here, there's a bat. You're going to leave me alone, right? 
And that's redstone. Yeah, redstone's good too. Uh, let me just use my last torch here. I'm not going to stay in here. Okay. Yeah, the bats do... They do nothing to me. That's good. Okay. Uh, okay. I hope this is iron. It is fantastic. Okay. Uh, brilliant. I just need at least three bits. And that's what I've got. Okay. But there's more to come yet. Okay. Iron means an iron pick. Uh, that's all of it. That's all of it, but we found a cave. Okay. We found a cave. Okay, brilliant. Uh, which, yeah, means we need to... What do we need to do now? We need to go make an iron pickaxe. And uh, oh, to do that, I need to find my way back up. The bats are getting into my tunnel system. Uh, so six bits of iron. Six bits of iron means one pick, which is absolutely essential. And three bits left over, which I don't think is enough to make a compass, which means we can't make a map. But uh, what can we do instead? With three bits left over, we could make a sword. We could make... Um, I don't think we could make a single piece of armor at all. But the pick is the most crucial bit. I would say. Oh, could we make a shield? That's worth knowing, isn't it? Okay. Just slap that in. Cook it all up. And uh, we'll see what we can make using it. Should also get some rid of some of this material. Like, we don't need... Uh, well, let's take a full stack, so we'll get rid of that one. Pop that one there. What is tough? I don't know. Get rid of it. Dirt, um, oak planks, we will we'll leave those behind. No, well, well, we found a use for oak planks down there, so let's keep those, because we can always make more sticks should we need to. We don't need to be carrying the wooden pickaxe. The raw pork chops need cooked. We'll keep the cooked mutton. Get rid of the andesite and the cobbled deep slate and the granite, uh, and leave the raw pork chops there. Fantastic, that'll do. And tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Brilliant. Four iron ingots. That is Excellent. Okay. Uh, I want to search for a shield, if you'd be... Yeah, how do I make that? One bit of iron. Okay. Okay, that's that's really good. Shields are... Uh, uh, they weren't... In the game, I don't... Well, I think they might have been by the time I stopped playing, but I, I've never used a shield before. I just was aware that they were a thing. Oh, in fact, we've got enough right now. Brilliant. So what was the recipe? It was this, right? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Shield. Okay. Uh, close that and head on over to this menu where I think we just slap it here, don't we? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. We have a stone sword and a... What do you call it? Just a shield. Okay. And in the meantime, you've finished those iron ingots, which can go in my chest. Uh... Yep, and everything else I want to take with me. I guess I want to make more... Yeah, obviously I want to make more, but how many more do I want to make? Eight's not going to cut it, so let's do a few more sticks as well. Let's get at least eight more of these, and... Uh... Four is one thing, makes twelve. Another four. The thing is, I'm just using up all my coal now. Let's make thirty-two. And leave the last bit of coal. Okay. Leave the last bit of coal back in there. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, sword and shield. So, um... Actually, with these newfound torches, we should go explore the uh, the cave a little bit more. I should move this axe because we don't really need it. I'll just put the iron one there. We'll use the stone pickaxe until it runs out to chop up things like uh, stone. 
and the new iron one we'll use to dig out the 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 redstone and see if we can find more iron and uh well what are we looking for next yeah it's just more iron that's all that i want because once we get more iron we can make iron armor uh, and as i say we can make a compass and we can make a map from that compass once we have paper oh yeah of course the other ingredient of a compass is in fact uh redstone so we do need to grab that anyway which i don't think you can mine out with a stone pickaxe i could be wrong but i think it does require the the iron one it's eerily quiet down here oh it's just in there no nope, i don't want to don't want to jump up there i just want to grab that thank you okay so torches in hand again get another one down there oh it just ends okay well yeah i don't know if we can light this place up enough to uh prevent spawning but oh there's more iron oh hello 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 whoops 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 whoops, whoops. okay that that works okay that's fine Fine, didn't want that anyway. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, for okay, okay, okay. If you could, yeah, not blow up my torch, that would be great. I don't mind you blowing up. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. Backed into a corner, can't really do anything when that happens. Uh, I guess we need to light up a little bit further before we really um, do anything. Is it another? Oh, there's something there. What? Oh, is that another another creeper? Okay, you've noticed me. Uh, just to keep you in sight and head backwards. This is where your other friends blew up. If you want to. Do the same. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't mind losing out on the... Oh, that's gold, isn't it? Okay, gold is good too. I don't have an immediate need for the gold, but gold can make a clock. That's all of that iron, isn't it? Yep. Uh, a little bit of gold here. A bit of gold. Tiniest bit of gold. Okay. Let's see if we can get another torch down. Oh no, this, this just ends. This was just a little... Again with the ominous noises and skeleton sounds. There's obviously another... Uh, opening somewhere. Somewhere alongside this one. Was there more iron somewhere that I'm that I'm missing? Not seeing it. Uh there was more redstone. That over there is Yeah, the way I came in. I guess I mean I, I should go up and uh, grab this. And that, uh, ooh, more iron, fantastic. Definitely a good decision to come get this redstone then, wasn't it? Uh, over to here and just build up a little bit further. Now, yeah, okay. One of the old rules of Minecraft was, of course, always you never dig straight down. Also advisable, never dig straight up. I think you'd see drips coming from the, uh, the roof, whether it was um, water above or lava above. I think you'd see it. 
but you can of course just open up a, uh, a, a shower of either water or lava and have a really bad time that way. Okay, I haven't been this way apparently, so get a torch down and what happens over here? Does it just end? That goes a little bit deeper and then it ends, okay. Then it ends and there's no more interesting materials. No, okay. That's it. Okay. Well, uh, we should take stock of the iron we've just picked up. And the redstone. We've got 40 redstone. Iron, 14. Uh, that's the... What was it? Did we have two left over? Yeah, we had two left over. 14 plus 2 is 16 iron. It's enough to do some stuff. We can make shears. Actually, we could, yeah, we could use it for the compass and make a map. That's it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a map. We're going to make a map, and then we're going to we're going to begin exploring. I hope I can remember how to make a map, actually. I know I can use the, the recipe system, but back in the day, as I've, like, um, been talking about this, is a huge nostalgia trip for me. Back in the day, you didn't have that recipes system in the game. There was no, um, like, recipe book. You would have to use a wiki. And you would learn the, me uh, the the recipes by memory. You might, in fact, uh, you know, pause the game, tab out, or go across to a uh, a Minecraft wiki, and learn the recipes there. And then you just pick them up over time. But they're really simple, aren't they? So, ooh, do we have enough coal for this? I really hope we've got enough coal for this. I don't know how many bits of raw iron one bit of coal will do. I mean, we can find more coal if not, but... Let me grab the other two bits of iron and... Put the cobble deep slate in there. Raw gold we also need to process, but we'll, we'll hold back on doing that just now. And I might sleep for the time being. Just to pass the storm, pass the night. Okay. Uh, okay. Where this should be? Ooh, that's an Enderman. Okay. Endermen were definitely in the game when I last played because the end had just been added, uh, and they were, of course, the only way to get there. How many bits of coal were there? Four. Yeah, I think that's going to do it all. Okay, eight bits of coal, eight bits of iron, what can we make? We can make a, is it one redstone dust surrounded by one, two, three, four iron ingots makes a compass, fantastic. We'll take that, pop that there. New recipes unlocked, map presumably. Why is it pointing? Where is it pointing? I thought it pointed to, um, I thought it uh, pointed to spawn, right? Which uh, you reset your spawn when you place a bed. It's obviously not placing. It's obviously not pointing to the bed, so it must be pointing to original spawn. Okay, but we're close enough to original spawn that it 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 works for us anyway. Uh, more, 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 please. What else do I? What else do I want to make? I don't know. We should go and collect um, our sugarcane, because I'm pretty sure it's sugarcane we need to make paper, right? just don't know how much. So quickly chop some of this stuff. Okay, yeah, you've not grown to your full height. There we go. I've collected five bits of that. How much do I need? To make paper, how much do I... Oh God, I can't remember. can't even remember how to do it. That might be a recipe I do need to look up. Uh, we will, we'll, we will, we'll, we'll see. Because it might just be three bits. Like that. 
Oh, it is fantastic. Paper. However. However, however, however. I need nine. So I need six more sugarcane. No, sorry, I need eight. But I still, that still means I need six more sugarcane. Okay. And we've only got five planted out there. Two in hand. Hmm. Okay. We could do this right now and still leave one growing. It's not ideal, but... Since I want to get this done... Ooh, nice and quick, that auto jump is going to kill me. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that one growing and we'll harvest them from this side. Okay. Uh, yes, six. Brilliant. Okay. Six makes... Two more lots of three paper, which gives us nine paper. We only need eight, so we'll have one sheet left over. And then I think that makes a map. Like I say, you learned these recipes. And it's been so long since I've played. I can't, I can't believe I actually remember that. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Nine bits of paper. And then it's just all the way around the outside like that compass in the middle makes an empty map wow wow yeah i remembered um how do i activate this oh there it is oh interesting has it changed how maps work they have haven't they used to be you'd activate a map and um Okay, there's obviously lava over there. Yeah, it used to be you'd activate a map and you'd get like a little little tiny circle in the middle of the map. Um, and then as you wandered around, you would uh, fill it out with knowledge. But on this occasion, the entire map has auto-filled and we can see where in the world... Whoops. We can see where in the world we... We are on it already instead. I do wonder, is the center of it possibly... Hang on. The center of it probably isn't where we spawned. No, because I think we spawned over there, didn't we? Okay. But we've got... Uh, yeah, we know about that lava already because it, we saw it. Uh, just a huge body of water to the north. I know for a fact that to the south there's a huge body of water as well, so there's also no point going that way. I mean, yeah, it might be best to travel west. That might be my best shot at finding um, civilization. Okay. Okay. I believe... As well as having the map like that, you can also do it like this instead, right? Can you put it in the shield slot? And you can, yeah. So then you can keep a a tool equipped and uh, a map in hand like that. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it there though, and pop the shield back on. And in the next episode, we're gonna go adventuring west because it's clearly, I think, the best direction for opportunity we'll look east for a moment we'll, we'll, we'll go outside and we'll take a look east where's the sun in the sky oh it's overhead so it's midday just go up here and take a look to the east because i don't think this this peninsula just ends does it oh where's my way up here we go here we go no. Okay, it gets a bit busy again. Obviously that bit over there is not on the map. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I might need to eat too. I might need to... Now would be a terrible time to uh, realize I'm no good at this. Hang on. Three, two, one. Ugh!
Well, okay, it worked. Surprised that didn't kill me, to be honest. Is that coal? That's coal. Cave here. Grass. Uh, oh, now that we have an iron pickaxe as well, we should mine out the um, the emerald I saw first episode. Uh, can't believe I didn't make that jump. That is... Uh, oh, I'm going to have to finish all of this meat. Which is a waste, because it actually replenishes so much more than that, really. There's actually coal underneath that. Okay. Right. Uh, next episode, we will go exploring... I would say to the, uh... Hmm. Oh, for God's sake. Uh... West? West. I feel like we have less knowledge of the West. We also need to... Well, we'll gather more sugarcane as we go, if we can. Because uh, we need to start thinking about farming and actually producing, producing the resources that we need. Eventually I want to move. I don't want to actually be settled here in the side of this like that. Uh, there's a good area over there which we could clear out, and it's right by the water. Might be nice to build a structure there. And The, the only issue is, like, this area is pretty ugly with, like, weird artifacts like this and, well, this. Just floating blocks all over the place. It's not particularly aesthetic. And... I would like it to be prettier, but we will see. I do need to get more coal as well, remind me. Okay, three iron, yeah, yeah. just cook as many of those as you can and we'll use the last of our coal because we can always get more. But we're going to leave it there. In the next episode, we will, as I say, go exploring with our new map and our stone sword. The map does not cover a huge area, so we are going to need to make more. We've got plenty of redstone though, we have a little bit of iron. How much iron have we got? 12? Yeah, we can easily make another of these, or another three maps, should we want to, which I think is probably the best use of this iron that we've got. Uh, just to start filling in knowledge of the surrounding area. But as the sun sets, I'm going to let this pork cook and uh, get a good night's sleep. In the meantime, I've been Tom. This has been Minecraft, of course. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you join me next time. Ta-ra.